right, let's we'll start out this trip. I got a new microphone on this camera here. We'll see how it works out. Should be able to talk. Hopefully you can hear me now. I can talk while I'm driving a little bit here. What's gonna be funny is if it doesn't work and I talk for the next three hours because this is untested. Let's see, make sure I check both ways. Check the house, all good. It's a nice Friday morning. Yeah, playing hooky from work. <laughs> Can't figure out what that sound is. I don't know. Get this baby up to speed. This camera set up here a little bit. Get this baby on. Yeah, hey. It's a good boy, yeah. Doing a little dirt work action, huh? Come on. Wow, look at this. This is pretty cool. It's kind of like overgrown. Trees are over the road. Some. Pretty neat. Need to get Boogie in here a little behind schedule. Go down there, maybe see if we can't find some shade and fly the drone. Going right past that tree. It's a good sized gator. 
maybe six feet. Yes, yeah, so you can see, see it's flowing pretty good. Take it easy in the shade and fly this drone. They have actually two ramps here and oh, I just want to drive down to this little second one where they say Pickett's Bayou Boat Ramp. Pickett's Bayou. Run down here just to check it out. Yeah, I need to run down I-10 a little ways to Highway 146. There's a seafood place called Baytown Seafood. And I'm hungry. That's some grub right there. That's <laughs> Look at that. Empty plates. Lee and Kim. Good grub. Want uh, fried shrimp, fried fish, fried, yeah, you know, the just come to Baytown Seafood right there. Alright, 
let's see here it's about time to pull in and take a little break get some water get some shade underneath this little carport here this looks good Yeah, nice in this shade. Yeah, this ain't looking good. Parked here by a tree in the shade. Well, I went another, uh, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, ten miles. Give it 30 minutes and get let it cool down. I think it just burped a bunch of radiator fluid out. here at this Valero see him in the shade um, yeah it overheated for sure this time so took the tank off and here's my radiator cap pulled that off a lot of steam coming out got me some water and filled it back up I'm gonna let it set and cool a little more fun Well, just left the Valero, um, put water in the bike, let it cool down for about, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe 15. Um, temperature gauge is working now again, so that means the uh, system's full, it's reading. So far, so good. just had to uh, fill the radiator up again um, stop and go traffic uh, overheated 10 miles come on baby I'm in the neighborhood I got a block to go I think I'm gonna make it This was the problem. 